I'm delighted to share with you the long list for the fourth Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay NIF Book Prize 2021. The New India Foundation is of course best known for its fellowships that support the research and writing of high quality books on diverse aspects of the history of independent India. It also recently launched translation fellowships. Four years ago, the NIF instituted the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay Book Prize to recognize and award outstanding works of non-fiction in any genre on any aspect of modern and contemporary India. This year, we received 150 nominations, which was astonishing given the unprecedented situation of the world in 2020 and the impact the pandemic has had on writers, readers and publishers. In fact, we had more outstanding books than our long list of 12 could accommodate. Here then are these 12 books in alphabetical order. Michael Bass, Muscular India, Masculinity, Mobility and the New Middle Class. A fascinating account of how the Bollywood ideal of a lean and muscular physique has inspired lower middle class men to seek social mobility by working as fitness trainers in gyms or as competitors in the world of bodybuilding and modeling. Bass follows the trajectories of several fitness trainers exploring their aspirations, their anxieties, and the resilience of class barriers. Ashutosh Bharadwaj, The Death Script, Dreams and Delusions in Nakshal Country. A searing and stunningly crafted narrative based on the author's reportage from India's so-called Red Corridor. All sides in the conflict find voice in Bharadwaj's sensitive treatment, offering poignant reflections on the human predicament in a danger zone fear and love, betrayal and violence, and above all, the yearning for justice. Christoph Jaffrello and Pratinav Anil, India's first dictatorship, The Emergency, 1975-77. to A masterful study of Indira Gandhi's emergency and her son Sanjay's role in it. This is a comprehensive and deeply researched book on a dark period of our history in which democracy was suspended and a constitutional dictatorship was installed with little popular resistance. Ravinder Kaur, Brand New Nation, Capitalist Dreams and Nationalist Designs in 21st Century India. A compelling and provocative book about how the shiny new brand India of the 21st century was created and advertised overseas to attract investment by global capital and how it was deployed to fuel nationalism within the country as the very idea of the nation was shaped anew. Madhav Khosla, India's founding moment, the constitution of a most surprising democracy. An elegantly written book about the political thought of India's constitutional founding and how the founders of the Republic crafted a constitution designed to produce democratic citizens. T.M. Krishna, Sebastian and Sons, A Brief History of Mridanga Makers. A celebrated musician explores how the main percussion instrument in Carnatic music, the Mridangam, is actually made. The book offers a multi-layered account of the process and of the lived experiences of the people, especially Dalits, involved in it. Arkutong Longkumer, The Greater India Experiment, Hindutva and the Northeast a path-breaking study of the rise of Hindu nationalist politics in Northeast India. This book explores the tensions between the vision of Akhand Bharat and the local political arithmetic and indigenous nationalisms. Bhavar Meghvanshi, translated by Nivedita Menon, I Could Not Be Hindu, the story of a Dalit in the RSS. A powerful memoir of a Dalit activist and journalist, once a deeply committed RSS worker in Rajasthan, whose painful experience with untouchability leads to disillusionment and disavowal. Dinyar Patel, Nauruji, pioneer of Indian nationalism. An outstanding biography of Dada Bhai Nauruji that illuminates his life and work, from his pioneering critique of imperialism to his engagement in British parliamentary politics, from his building of political alliances in Europe and America to his eventual declaration of self-rule as the only way forward for India. Sumati Ramaswamy, Gandhi in the Gallery, The Art of Disobedience. A handsome, 
beautifully illustrated volume that explores how and why Mahatma Gandhi came to be the muse of several modern Indian artists who, by making him visually familiar through their art, have become Gandhi's conscience keepers in the present. Radhika Singha, The Kuli's Great War, Indian Labour in a Global Conflict, 1914 to 1921, a pioneering history of the 550,000 non-combatants in the Indian Army who participated in the First World War as menial labour, porters, construction workers, cooks, water carriers, and on whose largely invisible labour the war effort of the British Empire depended so greatly. Vinay Sitapati, Jugal Bandi, the BJP before Modi. An engaging account of the six decades long friendship between Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Lal Krishna Advani and how their partnership and ideological unity forged the original success of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Congratulations to all the authors on the long list. The short list will be announced in about four weeks. Till then, goodbye and good luck.